Now let's work on the front fender. I'll hide the door, bring the front fender back, and let's see what we need to do to conform this. I'll hide the smoothing mesh, and let's uh, go to the top view and take a look. Well, it looks like what we could do is add an edge loop here, and that'll give us this edge along the back here. So let's just uh, remove these faces, delete faces, there we go. And we could turn on our subdivisions here just to see how it looks, and we can bring back the hood. All right, so now what we can do is we can come in and just begin getting these aligned to each other. You can just move these back a bit, hit the G key, and once again, this is all just going to stay smoothed to that underlying geometry. And we can move this out a bit, move this out a bit. So how far you want these apart is up to you. I'm just going to begin with this like this and just get these so they're just a little bit out like this. It looks like we could adjust the hood as well. Maybe hit the G key and move these down a bit. Move this out. There we go. Back to the front fender here, and maybe I'll bring these down like this. Let's now do that over here. On the side, let me bring back the door here. We can work on this. I'll press Alt-Z. What I could do is insert an edge loop here and that moves that point back, and then we could get rid of much of these here that overlap the doors. So if we go into face mode, we could maybe get rid of, uh, well, let's hit the C key and get rid of these here, and these. Oh, I wanna keep this one. All right, let's delete these, delete faces. And let's go back to the one key, and now we can begin moving these points to conform to the door a little bit better. We may need to once again add some edges, and that's fine, we can do that. Uh, I'm gonna add one down here, like this. Maybe pull these up a bit. And we're gonna need to add another one. I'll take these right here, all of these, and hit S, Z, zero, and then pull them down a bit like this. Yeah, it looks like we need something here. There we go. And maybe something here. Oh, and I think one of the problems I've been having is that I haven't had this shrink wrapped yet to the smoothing mesh. So let's do that real quick. Add modifier, shrink wrap, and let's choose smoothing mesh. There we go. So now we might have a little bit better time moving some of these around a bit. There we go. Took a little work, but we got it. I'll drag that down. There we go. That's helping. And I'll tumble around and let's see if we can get any of these in place. So it looks like I might be able to take away these, delete faces, and then let's move these back. And I wanna turn on the shrink wrap cage here so I can see through there, there we go. And I'm gonna slide this over and slide this up, about like that. So we may not be able to get them perfect the first time out, but we're trying to just get close and see what we can come up with. All right, let's take a look at it. Yeah, that's pretty good. What we could do is adjust some points here in the underlying smoothing mesh. So. Let's uh, hide the Nash Healy, bring back the smoothing mesh, and let's see what we can do up here with this. Yeah, so we could, um, we could begin taking some of these 
and moving these over a bit. I'm going to turn the viewport down to two so it's a little bit easier to move around. So I'm just going to take these out just a little bit like this. Spread these apart just a bit. Maybe even bring these out just a bit. I'll press G two times again. So that's all I'm doing is just pressing G two times to slide these along the existing edge. Because we don't want to change the shape too much, but we do want to get a little bit more smoother transitions in here. So I think that's working out pretty well. All right, so now we can go back to here, and that smooths that out automatically because they're shrink wrapped to it. Let me take this and move it over a bit. There we go, now we can move it over a little bit. So you can see what, um, or at least I, I hope you can see the benefit of having that underlying geometry that we can use to keep everything smoothed while moving things around and trying to get these so they fit together. I will try and add another edge loop in here and see what happens. Not bad. Let me see what happens if we move it back. Okay, we're getting a little bit better, a little bit cleaner lines now. Yeah, so we're getting that. Okay, so we've got the door and the fender and the hood pretty much in shape now. Now, in the next video, let's continue this process and we will work on the back of the car to get it in place and conform to the shape.